RMT black taxi drivers have been angered by plans by bosses at Heathrow to undermine their livelihoods by allowing minicabs to ply their trade at the airport. A mass meeting of cabbies has been called to hear RMT General Secretary Bob Crow explain how the union intends to support them in their fight. How are you going, mate? How are you? Are you OK? That, my name's uh, Bob Crow, General Secretary of the RMT, and uh, I've come down here today just to tell you what we're doing as a trade union uh, for taxi drivers. Uh, we've had cab drivers, black cab drivers in our union, uh, for decades. Cab drivers in Leicester, cab drivers in Cardiff, cab drivers in Derby. And we're saying that you need to be organised better than what you have been. That's a simple fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the bottom line. When people jump in your taxis, they know that uh, they ain't going to be mugged, they know they ain't going to be raped, and they know that they've got someone in there who's got the knowledge and skill how they get them from A to B. And basically what's happening is, is that this firm here, this BIA, are breaking laws by trying to set up these taxis everywhere. And I've been out a few nights yes. with uh, yourselves. I've been down to Smithies at Farringdon, I've been round Leicester Square, and we've got to keep this up, simple as this. You need a bit more teeth than what you've got at the moment. And the RMT's yeah. demonstrated yeah. 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 We're doing three and a half, four hours here and paying six pounds, uh, five, yeah, five pounds pound fifty, 50 every, yeah. every ride we take out of here. They're taking a lot of money off us yep. over there yeah. and, and they're letting these, this Addison Lee come in the back door to nick all our work. Yeah, yeah. we'll uh, stop them, haven't we? We've got to stop it. Stop it. Done. See what's, hap what's, hap what's happening, Bob? Every, every time they introduce a competitive mode in here, they've got their fixed costs. We're paying for all the, the anti touting and all the rest of the police. Why should we pay for that? For and crying out loud. Let, let the airport pay for that. We are allowed to rank at the airport under the Airports Act, as yep. far as I understand. Yes. Like they charge us £5.50 to use the canteen and the toilets. Don't so what we are. need to do, Bob, is A, stop the minicabs, and after that, stop payment to come in here yeah. totally. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We had a dispute here a little while ago down here, right? We all looked around for the LTDA. Where were they? Nowhere to be seen. Right or wrong? Nowhere to be seen. No, when we had the dispute down there, we brought the airport to a standstill. We wanted to know where the LTDA was. We went up to the office, the door was locked. Where was the LTDA? Nowhere. It's a system that's wrong. We ain't come down here to cause arguments amongst taxi drivers. Hold on. We've come down here to cause unity. I'll give you something. If we don't do nothing, I'll tell you who's going to be here for a long while. Addison Lee and other cab drivers are going to get I will say to your brothers and sisters, I know, we're okay, mate. I will say to your brothers and sisters, you know our credibility, you know our reputation, I would ask you to join the RMT today, tell us what you want us to do, and we're going to do it for you, okay? Simple as that. The RMT is renowned throughout uh, the, the union world for standing up for its members and fighting all the way. They will not let their members be done down. They won't go down without a fight. You can, you can roll over and you will lose, but we won't roll over. Buoyed by the success of the meeting, the following day saw the RMT cabbies take their protests right to the door of radio taxis, one of the minicab firms involved in the plans for Heathrow. The mood amongst taxi drivers is very angry. In 30 years I've been in the taxi trade, I've never seen the drivers this angry and this militant. They're, 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 they're voting with their feet, they're, draw, they're, they're joining the RMT at an unprecedented rate. These guys have had enough. Radio taxis have now betrayed every one of those drivers by starting up a minicab company, putting that minicab company in Heathrow Airport in direct competition with their own drivers that pay them £140 a month to work on their circuit. These taxi drivers pay £5.80 to, to use Heathrow. For every job they pick up at Heathrow, they have to pay £5.80. They can wait two, up to three hours for that job. And they're, they're going to sit there and, they're going to, and then that little bit of work that they're still retaining out there is going to be taken away from them. These private hire companies like One Transport run by radio taxis will march on into London. They will come into City Airport, they will come into Canary Wharf. They will, they will then go in the stations. They would offer the, the train operators money to, to uh, um, run the stations. You know, we've got to stop this here. Otherwise, the people of London 
they will see their caps disappear.